Here's the rock group Metallica, and this is their whiskey Blackened. Let's discuss this bottle and give it a review. Blackened is a blend of rye and bourbons finished in brandy cast, and it's a collaboration between the rock group Metallica and master distiller Dave Pickerel. For those that don't know, Finishing is the process by which you add flavor to a whiskey once it's done aging. And that often includes taking a whiskey out of the original barrel that it was in and putting it into another one. In this particular case, they took it out of its new American oak barrel and then they put it into a barrel that once held brandy. And that obviously imparts different flavors and characteristics onto the whiskey. And if you've been watching the channel for some time, you know that I'm not a fan of finished whiskey but Dave Pickerel knew what he was doing. He spent 14 years as the master distiller at Maker's Mark during a time where the brand saw rapid growth. And after leaving his post there, he started his own consulting agency where he helped brands like Garrison Brothers, Whistle Pig, and did projects like this with Metallica. Dave was actually known for his ability to finish whiskey. For this particular project, he decided to blend those bourbons and rice throw them in brandy cask, and then pump loud Metallica music through subwoofers in a gimmick, excuse me, a process known as black noise. Now this supposedly vibrates the barrels and causes the whiskey to penetrate the wood further and extract more flavor. It sounds logical. It probably has some sort of impact. At least this marketing stunt has something to do with the celebrity that's releasing this whiskey, so I'll give them credit for the creativity. My name is TJ Gamble, and you've stumbled into Bruzel. In this video, I'm gonna rate and review Blackened on five different criteria. We're gonna give it a Bruzel score at the end and see how it stacks up against the other whiskeys we've reviewed. Let's get started by looking at the bottle. This one is batch number 127, and as I said, it's a blend of straight whiskeys finished in black brandy cask. The whiskey is remastered by Dave Pickerel and clocks in at 90 proof. On the back, Blackened, a bold collaboration of the finest hand-selected whiskeys, an unrivaled composition of craft and creativity, born in cask, forged in sound. Man, that's some good marketing copy right there. I love it. They don't actually disclose who made this whiskey. And words like remastered by Dave Pickerel make me think this is actually source whiskey and they just did the finishing process on it themselves. So basically, no real transparency as to where this whiskey came from. However, it was bottled by Sweet Amber Distilling Company in New York. A 750 milliliter bottle of blackened like this one retails at around $45, although I found this one on clearance at about 32 bucks. I'm not sure of the distribution on these guys, but I do run into this bottle quite frequently across the southeastern United States. So if you really want one, you're probably going to be able to find one. It really helps me out if you would hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing if you're not already. All we do is talk about whiskey here, so if you're into that, this might be a good channel for you. We're trying to take the channel and the content here to the next level, and unfortunately, it just takes a ton of money. So your support on things like Patreon and channel memberships help us push it much further, much faster, and I appreciate everyone's support. We also have a free Discord where we're constantly talking about bourbon. If you're interested in that or any of the ways you can help support us, there are links in the description for more information. So the first criteria we're gonna judge is aroma. The distiller's notes say burnt caramel, oak, and honey on the nose. And I think they're spot on. I honestly don't know if I've ever had a more accurate description from an actual brand. Very much burnt caramel, a little bit of oak in the middle, and kind of some sweet honey on the finish. Overall, it's not a super overwhelmingly great nose. I would say it's probably about average. I'm gonna give it a five. And the second thing is flavor. Blackened's own website describes this as honey, cinnamon, allspice, dark fruit, clove, and mint filling the palate. I get some of that. The honey definitely comes through, maybe just a touch of cinnamon, a slight bit of allspice on the finish, not really picking up a ton of mint, not an inaccurate description. Overall, those flavors are not overwhelmingly great. I would actually put that probably a little below average for me. I'm definitely getting some of the brandy influence kind of overpowering those flavors toward the finish. So I'm gonna give it a four. And the next criteria is complexity. What we're looking for here is do the flavors evolve as you're tasting them and how complex is that evolution? There's a little bit of complexity here. I get a lot of that kind of cinnamon allspice up on the front of the palate. 
and then it finishes with honey, but it's just not the type of complexity I'm looking for, so I'm gonna give it a four. And the next criteria is mouthfeel. Again, this is one of those things that skews toward higher proof whiskey. So this one coming in at around 90 proof is at a bit of a disadvantage for what I'm looking for in a bourbon. It coats the glass just a little bit, but it really is thin. And so I'm gonna give it a three. And the next criteria is finish. And finish is what it leaves you with once you finish consuming it. And so I get a little bit of oakiness. I get a lot of the influence from the brandy, which again, I'm not a big fan of. And so I give it a three. And that gives this a brusel score of 19, which puts it just above Jim Beam's Devil's Cut. And I understand with finished whiskeys, a lot of you may have different opinions than I have on this. So if you really like what the brandy does, you're gonna score this a lot higher, but brandy finished whiskeys are not what I'm looking for.